Hey, what's going on fellas? Welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what are the best ways and tricks to get better FPS performance, better visibility, and what are the best settings in Call of Duty Warzone The Last 10. Once again guys, do not skip any part of this video. I'm going to be filling this video with a lot of helpful tips and tricks. So watch this video till the end. Also, don't forget to leave your specs in the comments below. I'm going to be personally replying to each one of you. And with all that said, let's roll the intro. Alright, so moving on with the really first step that is creating a restore point. And for that, press your windows key and then search for create a restore point. Once you are here, select your local disk C or any local disk which says system, then click on configure, make sure the turn on system protection is enabled, click on ok, click on create and name it COD or anything that you can remember well, and then simply click on create. We do this step in order to maintain the integrity of our computer, if anything goes wrong you can always restore back to where nothing has happened. This is basically an image of your computer you can always come back to this point once you're done with that simply click on close and close system properties i highly recommend you guys do not skip this step because it is really important i just want to take a while and introduce you guys to winx hd video converter if you record your amazing gameplays and you want to upscale the quality of your video this tool will be super helpful and everything you need really it allows you to convert your videos and photos into amazing upscale quality for example, I select my Warzone video and add it in here and I'm just one click away to upscale it to 4K high quality. Other than that, they have huge presets for multiple conversions as you guys can see right up on your screen. Over here, I'm just going to be selecting this and the video is added already. You can rename it to anything you want. So for me, I'm going to be naming it Warzone 1 and that should be good. Artist should be me and click on OK. The best part of this application is that you can use hardware acceleration with your CPU and your GPU and you can also use high quality engine. If that is not enough, you can always go to options and select how many cores you want to utilize while you do this. And also if you want, you can shut down your computer once the conversion is finished. That is dope. The best part is still awaiting because this app is completely free. If you click the link in the description below, you can avail the license of this software completely free for the next five days. So go check it out right now and now back to the video. Now click on any empty area of your desktop, go to more options if you're on Windows 11 and then simply open up NVIDIA control panel. Once you're on NVIDIA control panel, simply select the third option which says use my preference emphasizing, scroll it all the way down to performance and then click on the second option once again. Now go to manage 3D settings over here, take your time, pause the video and copy all of my settings. Now don't forget to leave any of these settings over here because these play major role while playing Call of Duty Warzone. Then go to the third option which is the configure surround physics. Simply click on yes and then over here your processor should be your uh, GPU. Once you're done with that, go to change resolution and then make sure that you're playing on the highest refresh rate. Go to adjust video color settings and in here select the with the NVIDIA settings and then go to advanced section and make sure that your dynamic range is full. Once you're done with that, simply close your NVIDIA control panel and let's move to the third step that is open up your uh, Chrome. Alright, once you are in Chrome, just make sure to go to settings and in here, look up for continue. Just over here in the system settings, you can find continue running background apps when Chrome is closed. Just make sure that it is disabled. You don't want these things to be running in the background because they consume a lot of processing power. So once you're done with that, simply close Chrome and let's move to the fourth setting that is the mouse properties. And for that, simply search for mouse settings over here and simply open it up. And once you're here, simply click on additional mouse settings and then go to pointer options and make sure that enhanced pointer precision is turned off. This is basically gonna make your mouse movement one to one and it's gonna be better while gaming. Just over here, simply search for Xbox Game Bar and over here, just make sure to turn this thing off. Right after that, just look up for a game mode. 
settings and then make sure that game mode is enabled right under the related settings click on graphic settings over here and then click on this little browse button and now go to the installation location of your call of duty warzone and then simply add this thing up once you have added your call of duty warzone in here simply click on options and then click on high performance and then click on save also under the default settings click on change default graphic settings and then make sure that hardware accelerated gp scheduling is turned on once you're done with that i highly recommend you guys to clean install your graphics driver and you can do it in two ways simply go open up your browser now look up for your graphics card for me it's going to be rtx 2070 super drivers put in the name of your graphics card and then open up the website of the graphics card simply click on drivers section over here for manual driver search just select your product type your series for me it's gonna be the 20 series and then for products it's going to be 2070 super for operating system it's going to be windows 11 for language it's going to be english us download type should be game ready drivers and then simply click on start search and that's going to be giving you your latest driver for your pc that is this one for me as you guys can see 516.94 is the latest release all you have to do is just download this driver and then run that file and simply install the drivers manually seventh step is downloading this cod warzone fps pack i'll be leaving a link to this in the description below once you download it and open it up you'll find in four folders first one is going to be registry optimizations running these registries are completely on your risk but don't forget to make a restore point and in most cases these are not going to harm your computers but once again just make a restore point don't skip making a restore point if anything goes wrong you can always restore everything back and once again you always have the default registries to go back and enable all of those disabled settings so yeah once you're done with the registry optimizations second one is the power options and in here you have the power plan you can just open this thing up and copy this whole string from here and then open up your command prompt run it as administrator once you are in here simply paste this string line press enter i've already done it and once you're done with that simply search for power options and once you are here simply select ultimate power performance if it's not already chosen go back to the fps pack and then open up the ram optimization folder in here i have left you guys a lot of presets simply run the one that you are eligible for and if you want to know what ram you're using in your pc simply press your windows key search for system information and in here you will find your installed physical memory on your pc and if you find that registry file within these presets simply double click and run on them these are going to be completely safe enabling your maximum performance of your ram last one is the msi utility v3 simply right click and run this thing as an administrator and once this opens up all you have to do is look up for your nvidia graphics card or your amd graphics card simply click on this undefined button select high click on apply and then close this thing that's going to be setting higher priority for your graphics card utilization allowing you to get much better performance while you're playing the game and once we're done with that you are finally done with the fps pack now once you're done with these i highly recommend you guys to use exit lag you can find the link to exit lag in the description below just go and download exit lag from there once you download and open it up the interface should look like this it has a list of over 250 games to choose from you can select call of duty warzone over here select the nearest region use these two options over here then go to tool section go to fps boost section enable third fourth and second last option from here once you're done with that simply close it and let it run in the background exit lag will allow you to get better ping better performance better fps all within one application i highly recommend you guys do not skip it and since exit lag is not free to use you have to get a subscription after three days and you have options to get a monthly semi-annually and quarterly subscription and if these are too high for you you can simply use code bearfox20 to get a flat 20 percent off on your first purchase so make sure to choose wisely last but not the least is our in-game settings and for that simply open up your warzone blizzard and 
in here I want to give you guys a little tip if you are running a previous or a very very low end computer and warzone is not even opening up you can do is go to options go to game settings and in here click on this additional command line arguments and copy this string I'm gonna be leaving this in the description below simply paste this string over here click on done and then click on play all right so once you are in game simply go to options then go over here to the graphics section and in display section I had recommend you guys to follow my settings first your display mode i highly recommend you guys to always play on full screen for monitor make sure to go with the primary monitor for display adapter go with your graphics card for screen refresh rate go with the highest possible on your monitor display resolution should be always the native resolution for your monitor dynamic resolution should be disabled uh, and aspect ratio should be automatic uh, sync every frame or basically v-sync should be turned off custom frame rate limit just leave it to custom go to advanced over here and leave it to 300 and then both of these to 60 so you can save that little processing power for brightness i highly recommend you guys to go with 50 uh, or this is a personal preference if it, it is visible for you and this is easily visible then yeah your choice um for display gamma i believe that most of you guys are playing it on a monitor rather than a tv so if you are on a monitor go with 2.2 if you're on a tv go with 2.4 for nvidia highlights i highly recommend you guys to keep it disabled that's going to be saving a lot of performance and for nvidia reflex low latency keep it enabled not enabled plus boost once you're done with that simply click on apply settings and then go to quality section over here for the field of view i highly recommend you guys to adopt to 120 field of view in the advanced section for the ads field of view go with affected then camera movement should be least render resolution should be 100 streaming quality should be normal texture resolution should be low texture filter anisotropic should be low particle quality should be high uh, bullet impact in sprays is a personal preference if you guys like it you can keep it enabled if you don't you can disable tessellation should be disabled uh, dismemberment and gore effects should be enabled on demand texture streaming should be turned off this is basically um, downloading your textures and shaders meanwhile you're playing so just keep it disabled it's it's a uh, it's a lot of process consuming thing um, then down over here post processing effects all of them are basically uh, your personal preference filming strength I still suggest you guys to keep it 1.0 grain should be zero Nvidia DLSS should be turned off anti lacing should be turned off depth of field world motion blur and weapon motion blur should be turned off and then under shadow and lightning for shadow map resolution keep it low it's going to be saving you guys at 5 fps um cache spot shadows and shun shadows keep it enabled particle lightning should be turned off direct x ray tracing should be disabled uh, ambient occlusion should be disabled and screen space reflection should be disabled once you're done with that go to the interface section over here disable the subtitles and then scroll down and for the minimap size go with square minimap rotation should be turned on and then scroll down until you find something called uh, frame rates per second counter just enable it so that's going to be giving you that little fps counter on the top left section for server latency keep it enabled packet loss keep it enabled then scroll down once again and then over here you have a nice option to skip introduction movie make sure to keep it enabled and once you're done with that simply save all of those settings then lastly but not the least is our audio section and in here what matters the most is our audio mix i highly recommend you guys to keep it boost low that's going to be giving you guys a better competitive advantage while playing the game because it's going to be boosting the footsteps so yeah um, then scroll down and there is nothing else to change just make sure that mono audio is disabled and yep that's going to be all for this video so guys i hope this video might have helped you out and if it did make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button down below it seriously helps me out growing my channel a lot we'll see you guys in the next video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out